Katrina and I might not have a lot of things in common, but the one thing that we do have in common is that we both got kicked out of Rhonda's house. So we're standing in solidarity together. I'm gonna apologize on behalf of... Please I'm gonna, do yeah, not apologize. I, I, I will, I will. It wasn't good. It wasn't in the Southern way. <laughs> you weren't treated <laughs> in the Southern way. I was I was embarrassed because I thought that we could all sit down and, and have a conversation. I mean, our job teaches us every day how to deal with somebody that disagrees with us. When I actually came there to, to meet Joe, and, yeah. You know, support her. I mean, I see strong black women yeah. who are doing things. Yeah. I came here with the with the mindset to listen, because I felt like you didn't get to talk the other day, and I really wanted to get a chance to know you. So tell me what made you get involved in politics. I got real heavily involved in grassroots, mainly with the Tea Party, because right. I have no affection for the Democrat Party. I think it's shocking to black people when they see black Republicans, because if you're black, you have to be Democrat. I'm a political commentator. I do all the major cable networks. The debates are going to be very telling, and you guys should be thanking Donald Trump for being in this race. I did grow up on welfare, and now I'm a Republican because I survived the liberal system, the entitlement system, the redistribution of wealth system. Donald Trump's my boy. I was with him at the debate, and I'm defending him because he has a right to run in this race. Mm. I'm confused at the fact that Katrina does support Donald Trump. Um, and I think that it worked out in everybody's best interest that she didn't get into her political views at Rhonda's fundraiser. I hear that Joe's doing a, some kind of event. When she does these Know Your Right speeches, which are really, really good, because she goes out to the community and she tells them, like, this is what you do when you're stopped by the police, which is more necessary now than anything. Than like, I'm all about the Constitution, yeah, period. Me too. I want to go and I want to write about it. Maybe you put a blog go. post up. I'm really interested in Jolanda because she's running for office. We have the same goals, like fixing the education system, police brutality. These are the goals that we agree on. Rhonda may give you, you know, the, the snooty smooge, but hopefully she'll be on her best behavior. I think it's going to be at a church or something. I mean, we can't have drama at the church. These days, really? No. <laughs>